Hi everyone, I just wanted to introduce you to this program. It's called Feedly, uh, and you can see the spelling of it right here, F-E-E-D-L-Y dot com. And what it does is it takes the various websites out there that you program into it and allows all of the updates on those pages to come in through this one website called Feedly. So it's an RSS burner, you may not know what that is, but just know that it takes a bunch of different content. So what I've done for us, and you're able to, I'll show you how you can use this briefly, but I've gone through and I've found all sorts of journals and newsletters and blogs and things, and I've pulled all of those pages into this place called PhD Program Resources. Now what's really great here is as I scroll down you can see there is uh, indications of when these things were posted right there. Uh, it gives you a sense, you know, a brief little two sentence paragraph into it, the title, where it's from, um, and this has all sorts of great new fresh content uh, that I think is, is really useful for us. Uh, I can also change a couple things here, so maybe I don't want this magazine set up, maybe I want it as cards. Um, so each of these is a card and I can hide or save or if I want to click on it, it will bring me out to that particular uh, blog or that particular update. And so as you can see, there's there's a lot here. Uh, in fact, I've probably grabbed something from at least I probably have at least 200 different uh, 200 or more different sites that I'm pooling from. Um, I can also just kind of have it shown by full article and therefore slowly make my way through. Um, and visit the sites if I want to do that. So there's a lot of, and again, you can mark all of them red. You can show the unread ones, the oldest first, however you want to do it. But it's a really great way of, of kind of coming through the different pieces of information that are out there. Now, let me show you how you can take what I've done, actually take it and put it into either your own feed burner or if you create a Feedly account. All right, so here I am, I'm on Feedly. If I haven't created an account, I can very easily create an account by hitting Get Started. But let me log in, and I happen to sync this with my Google account, so I just simply click on Continue with Google. And what you're gonna see right now is these are my feeds in Feedly. Um, and on the left here, and I, you can kind of expand the feeds and it shows you, you know, it shows all the different ones that I subscribe to. Now this is a mixture of my different interests over the years as I've collected this. And there's, as you can see, hundreds there. Uh, but if I want to use that those PhD resources that I showed you um, what I can do and this is what you would end up doing is you would come down and you would go to organize and once you're in organize you see all of this here uh, you would go to import OP, OPML you'll click on that it's gonna ask you to choose a file and I'm going to choose file and I'm going to scroll down and find, actually I'm going to start to type it in. I'm going to choose this file here called Feedly uh, OPML. And I'm going to open it. And I'll show you, I'm going to put that file actually up in the Google Drive. So that's where you can download it from and then install it into Feedly or whatever other RSS uh, feed or, or program that you use. So I'm going to import it and it may take a second or two so we'll just wait on that and so now you see right here program uh, PhD program resources it's been added as essentially its own little folder and as you can see there it says 166 more sources so there's probably a, a, I'm mistaken about 175 or so in here but as you can see there's a lot of great sources in here for all sorts of journals all sorts of uh, well-known publications etc um, so that's really cool. And what's great about this is Feedly is an app that you can install on any digital device. So you can have it on your computer here as a web, part of your web browser, but you can also have it on your cell phone or your smartphone or on your tablet. Um, and let me just show you one other feature that's actually pretty cool about Feedly. Um, if you go in to a particular folder and say I'm interested in this in this story. Um, very quickly, you know, I can actually read it here, but then I can also bookmark it. I can send it to Evernote. I can tag it if I want to categorize it 
email it, tweet it, Facebook, or other options, uh, depending on what I use for my social media. Uh, so it's a pretty robust tool. It's a free tool. And in terms of gathering information, um, I've, I've done that part for you just to save you the time because I was going to do it anyways. I figured I might as well share. Uh, so hopefully this video is useful. Hopefully Feedly is useful and these resources are um, relevant to, to what we're doing. If you have any questions or need a little bit more help, don't hesitate to email me um, and I can help troubleshoot. Or if you have ones that you want to add to um, what, we, what I've already started to collect here, that'd be great too. All right. Thank you very much for watching and talk to you later.